ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, AvriLR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo saying off of that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher, the 1400 ladder. Ladies and gentlemen, I am just finishing up preparations for YCS Indy. Like I said in my previous video, if you're going to be there, come on up to me, say hi, we'll trade, we'll play, we'll... We'll take a photo together. I'll sign you mad. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, if anyone is going to be there, be sure to be looking out for your boy. We're trying to make day two at that YCS. Also, quick question, because obviously I'm sure that my voice sounds different. I have a Blue Yeti microphone. I don't know why whenever I do a screen recording with like the Microsoft Game Bar, I sound like I'm in a tunnel and like I'm using a mic from 2005. Um, so if anyone is good with like microphone technology stuff, please let me know down in the comments how I can fix this because I've tried everything. In a regular voice recording, it sounds fine, but once I start using the game bar, it doesn't sound good. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now and we're going to start talking about the market. I want to see what the market's doing going into YCS Indy, which is uh, June 1st and 2nd. Um, so do keep that in mind. Um, obviously with it being Memorial Day weekend, it's going to take a little bit longer for 25th anniversary cases and boxes to get to people's doorsteps. Uh, so if you did order one, I don't know why you would, um, or why you did rather, um, you'll probably get it by Tuesday or Wednesday, most likely. But Appalosa alternate arts quarter centuries are $70. Mascarena alt arts quarter centuries are 64s. Just get the platinum secret rares. Honestly, they look really nice. Uh, crossouts 48s. All this stuff here is just quarter centuries. Like it is what it is. Draw and locks 35s. DD Crows 34s. Uh, this stuff's going to drop like a rock once everything gets into circulation. 19s on judgment QCRs. Sure. Duality QCRs 19. Sure. Alu bars 15. Just get the ultis. The ultis are cheaper. Uh, purely quarter century is 13, sure. I will say my friend as an ulti looks really nice out of this set. Um, Heavenly Spheres is 13, if you really want to flex being a 10 by player, sure. Alternative White Dragon, 14. Mind Control, 10s. Drone Lot Platinums are 19. I mean, like I said, the Platinums do look nice. Bis Dweller, 10s. Uh, Masquerina Platinums are 12s. Uh, yeah, skill drains, 11s, like, everything is just really high right now. Once things get into circulation, it's going to be much better. Uh, let's take a look at Legacy of Destruction. So Nightmare Apprentice is leading the charge at 140. Uh, Nightmare Thrones at 160, I guess because maybe something updated here, but it's between Nightmare Apprentice and the Throne. Uh, Diabells is 95. <laughs> Magician of Bonds and Unity is only $70. That's actually really funny. Uh, let's see, Diabell Star Black, which is 50. All the Yugi stuff is just bulk. I don't know why this is so much money, like, honestly. Silent Swords, I mean, QCR is 30, sure. Like, who cares? The, the Yugi stuff is bad. Like, I don't care what anyone says. It's bulk. Uh, Tempai Dragon Pydra is at 15. That's really held the line for this long. I'm actually shocked. Dragonling is 19. That's shocking. Um, Varudus is 12. That's actually really nice if you want to pick one up. If you remember back in my market watches from like a year ago before we knew about the DBL Star stuff, I was saying, hey, look, Zalantis is $5, guys. You should pick one up just in case. It may be good one day. This is another one of those things. Varudus, $12. There's no reason why you shouldn't have one. Just lying around. Even if Ubel like plays it or doesn't play it once we get Phantom of Ubel, which it should, there will be another level 10 deck that comes along that makes this card very, very good. Pick a copy up just to have. Like, even if you can get it from a friend, in the words of Konami, uh, you know, $10 tops, $8 if you're lucky. Like, it's, that's not a bad investment at all. Um, Snake Eyes Diabell Stars are a dollar. Wow, that's hilarious. I don't know why they put tokens in this set. Like, God, that's got to feel bad if you open that. Uh, Transcend, 70 cents. Metal Tronio, 72 cents. Pick up a play set. Uh, th this card's going to be good. Uh, one day, this card has a lot of potential. It's kind of like um, Duality, that for that card that's light and dark support, and Joshua Schmidt put it on the map with his runic bi-steel shit thing. Um, <laughs> not that the deck was shit, but you get my point. Um, yeah, pick up Metal Tronios. That card's good. Uh, where there's a will, there's a way out. No reason why you shouldn't have a copy of that. It's honestly pretty good. Same with Multi-Universe. Is Multi-Universe back here? Or It's probably too far back. Multi-Universe is another card that you should definitely have. Phantom Nightmare. What's, what's going on with here? So, of course, voices cards are expensive. Um, Poplar QCR is 78. Bonds of Unity is 70, same price. Um, the Raid Raptor thing's 26. Raid Raptor is so bad. Uh, Promethean's 25. I'm sure some people are going to get mad at me saying Raid Raptor is bad. It's it's not YCS level. It's regional level, but it's not no YCS level. Uh, the Vito's Dragon of Eruption is 21. That's not bad. Regular Poplars are fives. That's actually really nice. Uh, Pack Bits are twos. That's really good. Yeah, and the Ubel stuff's pretty cheap, too. I mean, only 14 for Loving Defender. That is not terrible. Um, I also want to look at Triple Tax stuff here, because obviously Thrust needs a reprint. 
Uh, talents, the Starlight's 300. The Ultra Pharaoh's Rare is 110. QCR's are 65. Ulti Thrust's are $70. Um, Hypernova Secrets are 47. Ultra Rares out of Millennium are 44. The Secret Pharaoh's Rare Talents is 50. You're looking at uh, Secret Rare Talents out of Rise are only $10. And then, like, as you can see here, they kind of drop off 12, 9, 9, 7, 6. Like, this card will always have, like, a decent price tag. But we really need another thrust print. Like, I bought two, and now I feel bad because I'm not even playing them in Tempai anymore. So, go and sell them with the YCS. Want to look at Fabled stuff. Obviously, Luries are going to be expensive because of the Fiendsmith stuff. I've looked at the Fiendsmith stuff a little bit, but I've just been grinding so hard for this YCS. I just haven't had time. Like, I haven't even really tested the new OCG Tempi support. But the Dual Terminal Luries are 26. Um, they, Fiendsmith plays this as, like, a discard engine um, because it's not once per turn. So just if it's discarded by a card, if I can summon it. Um, the Super Rares of Hidden Arsenal 2, I remember pulling these things in bulk. These things were pennies on the dollar. $4. Uh, you're looking at 9 for the Dual Terminal Technology. The Oh, the Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1, same thing. It's just a Dual Terminal. Um, let's see here. $2 on the Commons. That's actually really nice. Uh, Ruby Rare. I remember when this was like $20 back in the day. Like, it had a lot of potential. Um, but it, it's only a couple of dollars. I think it's the same effect as Lurry. Oh, when this phase of card is selected as a tech target, you can discard a Fable Monster and you get the attack. Never mind. I thought it was one of those discard to summon extenders. This card, though, Fable Grimmer. I remember people playing this in Dark World back in the day. So once per turn, you can discard any number of cards from your hand. Increase the level of this card by the number of discarded cards. Till the end phase, this card, or until the end phase, this card gains attack equal to the number of discard cards times 400. So back in the day, you could play this in Dark Worlds, pitch five cards, and get a bunch of pluses. It, it had so much potential. Uh, you can get one for $9, though. I think holding on to this, though, I mean, it's a level 2 Fiend, so maybe Sprite Fiendsmith combos? Like, that seems cute. I don't know. I haven't looked at the Fiendsmith shit. I'm not going to put it in a bottle and breastfeed it to you and act like I know what I'm talking about. Um, I always like to look at what's going on in the Yu-Gi-Oh! market in general, for those who haven't watched my market watches before. Uh, Dual Terminal Cyber Dragons are $1,000. Don't know why that's getting bought out. <laughs> um, LOB Booster Pack North American Editions are $800. <laughs> This is absolutely insane. Uh, it's the first dead though, too. Um, yeah, 800 sealed. PSA 10. You do, you sugar boo bear. I don't know why you'd waste money on that. Um, the platinum blue eyes are 2200 And of course, we got to look at what we bought. We bought the ultimate Kaiba set for the MSRP of $400. These were in the 1100 range. It looks like they dropped a little bit. One listing for 1013 and then they're back up to 1200 And they cap out... They cap out at like what over two grand? These things cap out at ten thousand dollars. No shot someone buys it for ten grand. People will go to eBay before that. Um, but let's look at what's being bought back here. Blue eyes. Oh, so they finally have the secret rares up. So three hundred dollars a piece for the blue eyes. So if you have them in the steel case, you're looking at nine hundred dollars. So like maybe after shipping like nine twenty before like fees and all that. Three hundred dollars for this one blue eyes. Not even graded. Just 300 a PSA 10 for 550 uh, all three for 700 and then 850 for the, the the plaque that's actually crazy that's really good um the QCR blue eyes these were like in the 300 range it looks like they've dropped to 200 they're getting bought out though yeah 200 dollars uh, these things cap out these things cap out at a grand uh, I think people will start going to eBay before that um, that's interesting to see that it's dropped. Attack Guidance Arms have actually, they've dropped. I mean, everything was like at 100, right? But I mean, 67 is not bad. 50 for the Trick Mirror, 40 for the Life Shaver, 26 for the Monster Reborn. Grappler, keep in mind, this is the only way to get Grappler. This was, uh, the first time it was ever printed here. $25, uh, $4 for the, the Blue Eyes, $6 on Lullaby of Obedience, $20 on Hitatsumi Giant. This stuff's going through the roof. $5 on the Ring of Destruction Alt Art. Um, 15 for a soggy, the dark fucking clown. Oh my god. This is crazy. Like, don't get me wrong. Is Attack Guidance Armor a good card? No, it's garbage. But it's the collectability. Look at this. These things are getting bought out. After the 67 one, if you want to take your risk with that feedback, I wouldn't. Uh, you're looking at 70 and then jump up to 93 and then 94 to $100. Sheesh. This is, this was such a good investment, guys. Like, if you bought into this at launch... For 400, these blue eyes are only going to go up. These things are going to be easily over a grand. Like, you could probably put this on eBay right now for like two grand and just let it, just let the listing sit for a couple years. Eventually, it'll get bought. Like, this is a uh, card of demise is eight dollars. Like, look at this. This is crazy. I'm not trying to make this market watch all about like the the Kaiba set. It's just it's so interesting to look at because there's never been a product like this before. Like the fact that Voice Raider in this is four dollars. Like, bro, 
Give me a break. Also, one day, Fiend Sanctuary will be good again. I do want to look at this real quick. So you special summon a Metal Fiend token. Fiend Dark, level 1 attack, defense 0, can't attack. Your opponent takes any battle damage you would take from battles involving it. Once per turn during your standby phase, pay 1,000 life points to destroy this card. One day, this will be a one-card combo. I'm calling it now. Maybe it's already a one-card combo with Fiend Smith, but the fact that it summons a level 1 Fiend token... That seems really good. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below about the market. Is there anything that you're investing in? Is there anything you're waiting on to buy in? Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.